Hi, my name is Ben Sutter. I'm a general dentist in Eugene, Oregon, and I lecture on digital occlusion and disclusion time reduction therapy with Robert Kirstein. I've been asked by BioResearch to speak a little bit about T-Scan and how I use that in my practice. And so whenever you're doing a uh, occlusal adjustment or just an evaluation on a patient, it's always great to know where they start. For example, this person's got 64% of their bite on the right side and 36% of the bite on the left, wouldn't that be good to know before you start cutting crowns over here on a tooth that's got 47% of their bite on that one tooth? So how do I use this? Basically, I use this for every new patient that comes into the office to evaluate their occlusion before we do any kind of restorative or perio uh, uh, therapies. Use it to check all of my implants to make sure that they are not overloaded. Use it in all of my cosmetics, all of my crown and bridge. I used to not use it for single crown placements, but guess what? One thing that I noticed was patients are not that accurate at telling you whether the, the bite is good or not. Within a narrow range, they're pretty okay, but uh, I've totally changed my paradigm from using this because our evidence-based medicine says that shim stock and um, AccuFilm are not really that reliable and I'm finding out that patients really aren't that reliable either. So another way to use this is uh, on finishing cases for cosmetics, full mouth rehabs, ortho cases, um, that rebound that so many orthodontists talk about as far as uh, the stretching of the periodontal ligament or orthodontic settling, it's, uh, it's a problem with bite force and balance. So it's good to control those forces before the braces actually come off and you'll have a lot less tooth movement. Um, my ROI on this has been pretty substantial. I've been a T-Scan user since 2000 and, I don't know, 2008, 2009, uh, coming up on a decade for sure. And I can't, I can't practice without it. There are so many things that would have just happened to break or the lab didn't do a good job uh, had I not really checked this with the analyzer. So I'll also use this for all of my removables. If you're doing all on fours or you're doing any kind of removable dentistry as, as in partials or full dentures, uh, a lot of our ill-fitting dentures really aren't ill-fitting. It's more of an occlusal problem. Um, this makes patient acceptance of new prostheses uh, certainly a lot higher. I hope that helps some of you figure out it's not just all about TMD, getting people out of pain and splints. This is an everyday general practice dentistry. Hey, I don't want to recut that bridge I just put in because we have a chip use. Thank you for your time.